It's part three of our Perfect Squad Challenge Series and we are here with Wolves once again. It's the Perfect Squad and in today's challenge we are going to try and get the perfect team relegated. It's not as easy as you might think. Let's jump into it. So as always, we've got 10 years to do it. We've got the perfect squad. Every player can play in every single position. And as I mentioned in the intro, the third part of this series, we've tried to score 500 goals and we've tried to go a complete season undefeated. Well, today we are going to try and get relegated. And yes, we did this on the last football manager. It was a hell of a lot of fun and it's been requested by quite a few of you. We might do this in other leagues. I'm also welcome any other ideas for other challenges we can do with the perfect squad. So I am all ears. So, time to make a tactic for Season 1. Okay, so this is the opening formation, ladies and gentlemen. We have decided to go Route 1. We've got everyone on the left-hand side of the pitch with a main instruction of being focusing play down the right. Uh, we're going to take the play for set pieces off, actually. We're going to be more disciplined. Um, we're going to regroup. We're going to hold shape and take long kicks. And we're going to have a much lower defensive line, a much higher line of engagement for the press. I want a bit of... Bit of um, spread amongst all the players. We'll, we'll see how this goes. We're going to go through one year, of course. The first of 10. We've got 10 years to do this now. As ever, the rules are, if I do complete the challenge in one of the earlier seasons, we will still do all 10 years. The goal is to do it again with a different tactic. How are we going to do it again, seeing as down in the championship? Well, the secondary goal will be get relegated from the championship, which is probably going to be too far to ask. But it will be a case of try and avoid coming back up. So... On we move to 2024. Let's see how we get on with this formation. Really? We've absolutely dominated. Dominated the league by 31 points. Just the one defeat all season. The 5-3 against West Ham. We scored 300. Conceded 88. Okay. 49 goals for centre-back. Five. He's done pretty well, hasn't he? Okay. Uh, disappointing. Very disappointing. The, back to the drawing board. Of course, winning the... When you're going for scoring 500 goals and avoiding conceding for the entire season, the reality is, is you're going to win the league pretty much every single season. So I'm used to winning the league with Wolves in these experiments. Now we've got to try and get relegated. It is actually very difficult with the players that have been perfect, like max attributes with frozen attributes as well. Max attributes that are frozen is, is genuinely really hard. Like You just saw that formation. That should not work. Play down the right, nobody there, all down the left, be disciplined. Right, bang, boom. One defeat, 300 goals scored. I mean, look at that, beating, beating Luna 11 0. 10 3 against City in the Carabao Cup. 10 1 against Everton in the league. 12 0 against Sheffield United. Brighton 14 1. A 7 4 against Liverpool in the FA Cup semi. They won the FA Cup against Fulham 9 3. Fulham, look at that. It's mental. Absolutely mental. Right, anyway, uh, let's make a new tactic. Okay, so we've gone very attacking this time, and every single player has got an attack role um, as their. Uh, what's it? Is, is there a. Uh, Instruction, I guess. Um, so in possession, we're going to have shorter passing and low tempo, but we're focusing play through the middle, of course, because we have nobody through the middle. We're going to shoot on sight because I'm hoping that we're going to be far out shooting, give the ball back to them, and then they can come and attack us. We are going to be wide in terms of width for attacking, so hopefully there's a big massive gap in the middle. We're going to distribute the th uh, ball quickly, and we're going to hold the shape, and we're going to regroup when we haven't got the ball. We are then also going to step up more, and we're going to trap inside. So the idea is we're going to step up and trap them inside where there's a big old gap, run through. So that's it. That's the formation. That is the instructions. 2025, end of season two. Okay, a few things to note. First, Spurs won the league. 82.10 defeats. That's insane. Losing 8-7 to Wolves. We have finished fifth. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a hell of a lot better than first in this pursuit of going down the league. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention, I have made myself unsackable because obviously I would get sacked from the success to the failure that we're going to inevitably have during this experiment. So there you go. We finished fifth with Wolves. What was the goals scored in the difference? 324 scored, 263 against. That is what I'm talking about. So this is going to be an interesting little... Um, so, the, yeah, here we go. 26-1, we lost to VFB Stuttgart. Obviously playing the youth team uh, with the formation that I said you must keep to. Then played a few friendlies with some of the proper team. The Community Shield, just 10 all. 10-10. Marcus Rashford scoring five, sorry, scoring four. 90 plus 10. That's in a normal time as well, not even after extra time. And we won on penalties. More goals than penalties. How about that then? And there's some very high scoring games here. 12-11. Lovely. Both teams getting double figures. 12-10 defeat to United. And 11-5 to Arsenal. 10, 9, 10, 9. So we are starting to move in the right direction. Yeah, very much so. Look at that, 8, 8 in Ipswich. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Obviously, if I did it in the second season, it would have been a bit of a bit of a dead rest of the video. But we finished fifth. We're actually not even in the bottom half. We are a considerable way away from actually completing it. So let's think about what we can do in terms of the tactic for season three. So 
I know this is completely alien to what we've just done. However, I'm going to... Right, right, fine. I said there's no spoilers from the other ones. Season one of the Try Not To Concede, we finished like 15th because we just didn't score. And I think it was something like this that we did. We did something very similar to this in terms of formation. So we've gone defensive. All the players are back there. Um, di extremely direct passing. So again, we want to kick it upfield, give the ball away. Very wide again. And we're going to be more disciplined. Take long kicks, distribute over the opposition defence. Hopefully there's going to be no runner on. So we're just going to continuously punt it up, give the ball back, give the ball back, give the ball back till inevitably we get broken down. That's the hope. Will it work? Uh, I don't know. Be honest let's see 2026 okay interesting so as you can see here we're not in the top goal scorers charts or assist charts because we've not got many clean sheets 29 clean sheets here for Go wolves goalkeeper two not got many goals sorry but lo loads of clean sheets over here so we finished eighth getting conference league football Tottenham won the league again big Ange, go on big Ange. never even checked if we won the champions league we didn't win the champions league the other season when we were in it did we so anyway so we finished eighth Conceded 12, scored 33. Lots of 1 0. So we, we lost in the semi final of the FA Cup, out of the Champions League, the quarter final, losing to Bayern Munich. So, yeah, we have just won too many games again. We've won too many games. So there's not a lot more you can do with that defensive formation. You invite the pressure on, and it's, we, we're too good defensively that we're not conceding enough goals. I, I thought if we're going to score one or two, you need them to score three. And very rarely have we conceded three all season. I bet West Ham are the only team to score three passes in a game. And that's correct. They are the only team to score three. There's not that many teams to have scored two, to be honest. Aston Villa, and that's it. Yeah, so we've conceded more than one goal twice. Two and a three. Hmm, okay. Right. Hear me out. So, we're, we're, we're balanced. We've got three deep line forwards who are going to sort of sit in here. We've got three attacking midfielders on support. So hopefully all these six are going to get in each other's way. We're going to have a couple of wingers on support who are going to be sort of far tarsing about here as well as getting in the way of these wide midfielders. So everyone's going to be getting in each other's way, and there's going to be no bugger at the back. The idea is, is we're going to concede more than we score in this 2-5-3 formation, apparently. In my opinion, it's a 0-2-8. There you go. That's just me. Uh, high tempo. We want to ping it around and get in each other's way. I've got max width again. I probably sh I'm, I'm half attempted to go narrow, but I think there's, going to, this is going to, there's something in this formation. So we're going to make some very small tweaks going forward i think we're going to be sticking with this formation or something like this anyway going to be more disciplined uh, we're going to roll it out to the full backs and center backs we have none so hopefully we give the ball away to them bang easy goal easy goal easy goal uh, we're going to distribute it quickly as well so we're not going to give players a chance to get back we are going to regroup and hold shape so hopefully we're going to stay up in those sort of positions uh, we're going to have a much higher defensive line we're going to step up more and that is about that that is our defensive line look how high couldn't get much higher can't get any higher Go to 2027. Oh, bollocks. I can't believe that. We've just bloody won the league again. I've only accidentally gone and won the league. Seven defeats, 148 goal difference. So it's not worked, has it? It's not worked. 219 conceded, scored 367. We did lose three of the last five, but we, we were miles away. Yeah. We won the Conference League, 9-5 against Roma. Look at that, 13-10, we beat Fulham in the FA Cup final. Fulham in another FA Cup final. Fulham have won the FA, have been the FA Cup final twice that we beat them in. We lost to Man United, actually, in the 24-25 season. Didn't realise that. There I am, Jay Wower. All these Wolves players are up here. I'm here, favoured personnel. Is that it? Winning your Premier Leagues and all sorts. No Champions League yet, though. So anyway, uh, yes. Um, so, competitions. We've, we've won the league. We've accidentally bloody won the league. Can you believe that? Ah. <sighs> Eighth last season, fifth, then eighth. We were going in the right direction, then bang, back to the top. Now, I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Why are you sticking with that formation when you've just won the league with it? Well, let me tell you this. We've changed every player role. And we've changed a hell of a lot by the formation. We've now got three advanced forwards on attack. We've got two inverted forwards. Inverted forwards? Inside forwards, excuse me, on attack. We've got three advanced playmakers on attack. We've also got two wide midfielders, you guessed it, on attack. And of course, the sweeper keeper on attack. That's 11 players with the attack instruction. We've also got the mentality, very attacking. In possession, we're going to do short, high tempo passes. We're going to be very disciplined as ever. Once again, this has not really changed. We're going to roll it out to the fullbacks and centre backs and see if that helps us lose a few games. And then this again, we're going to step up more. No other things to 
really do. So that's it. We're going to move to 2028 and let's hope we don't win the league and maybe go down. Well, there we go then. 12th in the fifth season. The fifth of 10 seasons. We have made good progress. Made very good progress with a minus 50 goal difference, which is brilliant to see because that leads me to think that there's some teams that have demolished us. Well, they must have done. Minus 50. That's the third worst in the league we've got minus 52 for burnley and minus 61 for bloody plymouth argyle and they got 25 and 26 points respectively i got 17 more points than burnley so i've had to win some games um so that's an impressive drop down the league ninth aston villa champions league football oh look at the trophies that have been won over here three europa league spots so we finished 12th anyway let's have a look at the goal difference that's always interesting to see so 413 scored 463 conceded look at this 109 goals for Man City and for Tottenham. I bet they scored, yeah, they scored 34 past me and they scored 28. The profile. Erling Haaland got 50 goals this season. I wonder how many scored against me. Why would they have gone to Sky? Schedule. Look at this. Loads of double figures. So, where have Man City? So, the 13-11 and Erling Haaland scored four. Is that it? Where's the other City game? 21-5. And Erling Haaland scored 13. So, by the 18th of September, by the 19th of September, should I say, Erling Haaland had scored... 13 past me and however many in the other opening few games so he would inevitably have been top goal scorer for basically all season we lost a community shield we then won a few games and we have won a few games by decent margins we've lost a few by tight margins and we've won a few by tight margins we've been battered by some teams we haven't really done much battering 19-5 against plymouth argyle okay but okay i feel like i feel like this is Look at that then, 12-10 against Plymouth Argyle. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that there's a few games here that on another day, you know, you're 12-10 against Brentford. That, uh, that two-goal swing, when there's 22 goals going in, it's very easy for us to miss one and them to score one. 11 all, boom, dropping points. Have we, we have drawn, I was going to say, have we drawn any this season? We drew once against United, 11 all. Liverpool have won the league as well, just there. Uh, FYI, ladies and gentlemen. Unai Emery's at City. Arsenal's still got Mikkel. Where's the big man? Manager of Austria. Do you know what? I think Ralph Hodge is dying, ladies and gentlemen. It's boring now, isn't it? He's always the manager of Austria. It's not like when he was England manager where he actually won stuff, where it all started. He's just manager of Austria every single time. However, on the new FM, he's going to be the manager of Wolfsburg. Is he Wolfsburg or Werder Bremen? I always get them confused. W's, isn't it? Anyway, he's in, going to be managing in Germany. I imagine he's going to, uh, going to spice it all up again. So don't worry, Ralph, Ralph Hodge is going nowhere. But... It's just a bit dull at the moment, isn't it? So that's probably not going to check. Probably not going to check in and again in this experiment. So we're five years in, in terms of the tactics. I've left all the players exactly the same. Now, I've gone very defensive as a mentality. So we've, moved, we've come away from the advanced forwards and we've gone back to deep line forwards. Everyone else has remained the same. Advanced playmaker, inside forward, wing, wide midfielder. All on, everyone's on attack. We've gone very defensive mentality-wise. Uh, slightly more direct passing, so we brought that back. We're going to play out defence and focus play down the middle. And we're going to have a low tempo instead of a fast tempo. So hopefully, when we've got the ball, we're not very good at getting it in the position to actually score, giving the t other team time to regroup. And we're also defensively minded, so we're not going to be, hopefully, scoring as many. That's where I think we're going to score a few less, and hopefully we're going to continue to concede as many as we have been. That's all remained the same. And so has this, except we've gone trap inside. Once again, we're trapping inside to funnel them into there. And as I said earlier, Bob's your uncle. That's the plan. That's the hope. Season six, then. Let's go and see what happened. Right. Europa League football. Plus 25 goal difference. Seventh. 341 scored, 316 conceded. So we've been slightly less good going forward, but we've been a hell of a lot better defensively. And that's the problem. So here we go. Some of these tight games, the 11 10s, you know, your 10 8s, your 11 9s, they're going in our favour. We have, we have lost a few games, but then I think some of these that were potentially going to be 10 8s. I've now gone to like 9-4 and stuff rather than being uh, the other go the other way which i hoped i've, I've kind of um improved on ourselves now i did say in the other experiments when i was going through i didn't i've not gone back and watched the previous videos to look at the tactics that i did to see how i managed to complete it because spoiler for last year where we did it i completed it in all three experiments so i could have gone and checked the tactic but i wanted to do it fresh i wanted to do it authentically because i can't remember however i can remember what we did with uh, this game relegated and what we did so before before i tell you what we did uh, i've just quickly changed the tactic and i'm changing the, i've changed the tactic back to this with uh, some extremely direct passing very narrow this time and uh, we're going to dribble less and we're going to be more disciplined it's just a few instructions i'm hopefully going to fall back down the leagues 
we'll see so what we did um last time was we went to uh, player instructions and we went to mark specific um position and we went and marked to the team's right back now for me that's cheesing the experiment we can literally do that right now and probably get relegated i don't want to do that i feel like that's a bit bit of a cop-out way to do it we might do that in season 10 just to say we did it but we might not we might wait till see we might do it from season 10 to season 11 we'll see we'll see but anyway that's the formation we're going with back to this there's the instructions 2030 right this is the lowest we finished right the lowest we finished Minus one goal difference, 42 points. We are 13th. Then we have 43 points previously. Uh, no goals to speak of in any sort of way, shape or form. We scored seven, conceded eight. Okay, what a boring season that would have been. When you've literally botched a couple of seasons where a lot of teams... Well, it's been double figures goals nearly every game. You know, scoring over 300, conceding over 300. Season before, over 400. Now you are literally seeing 20-odd goals a game sometimes. What an absolute fall from grace that would be you'd be absolutely fuming at coming and watching this like first two games in august both nil nils then we saw penalties against bristol city but one two three four goals in the month of uh, september three goals in the month of october three in november or oh, three in a win against young boys but that's with six nil nils in eight games oh my god one two three four five nil nils in a row one penalties against cardiff and oh, what a dull season Ends the season in style in May. Five, and tail end of April. Five nil nils in a row. Five nil nils in a row. That's brilliant. 13th we finished then. And oh, I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss now. All I can think about is just cheesing it and just doing the um, mark specific position. I'm, I made an executive decision. If we had failed up to season nine, we are going to do it. We're going to do it for season 10. And if we get relegated in that season, which we will, um, we'll try and do that in the championship and see if we can go down from there as well but last time I think we tried an extra season we didn't go down in the championship finished like 15th anyway uh, let's go to tactics oh right I'm back at this oh god I, I, I don't moving players on football manager is just so such hard work like I probably should for the content show you actually me actually moving these players because when you're moving them to try and go here and it just doesn't work like why can this not be responsive that, oh, oh finally we, we got there what's happening now why why can't I move him like, what's what's this like yeah do you want to move back thank you like are you having a laugh how hard is it to move players we all know this it's absolutely at atrocious and they're working on loads of things graphically and they work they you know one of the things we all wanted them to do was overhaul the set pieces they did that not a bad job as well they did of it much better than it used to be you know regen faces well we've all got mid journey and like, you know, there's new jam packs and all that stuff so we can sort that out unless you're on console sorry guys uh, but so yeah we want better new gen faces regen faces whatever but sort out this sort out this bollocks this tactic screen where you can't move your player I nearly swore then. Fuming. It's well, wound me up. It's hot as well. I'm sweating in this room. Anyway, we've gone back to this. Apart from three advanced forwards, three ingonchers, a Rom Derta, and a um a what? A wide target forward, because I think that just putting the wide target forward there is just stupid. Uh, and wide midfield on attack. Very attacking. Play out of defence and wide. That's all the instructions we've got on. Uh, this has never changed. And we're back on this. Get stuck in. Want some red cards? Want some red cards. So, yeah, 2030. Go to 2031. Oh, for God's sake. Second. 136 goals. Uh, goal difference. 430. 294 conceded. Bloody hell. Over 50 goals for three players. Absolutely demolished the top scores chart. Erling Haaland on 38. We're basically taking up the entirety of the top 10, apart from Erling Haaland and Florian Verts. Yeah, lots of wins. I mean, I'm not going to go and look at all them. We've seen all this before. Loads of goals. Annoying. Right. Uh, what's the next tactic? I've gone with this. Um, I, I, I literally, literally can't think of anything to do now. Uh, this is season eight, going into season nine. So this is the last one before we cheese it. This isn't going to work. I've taken a load of instructions off. In transition, we don't know what we're doing. We've got all the players doing that. I've just very left-hand side again. Um, I, yeah, I just feel a bit. All at sea, shall we say. Let's go to the end of the season. We're probably going to win the league with this one. Eh, we didn't. Uh, fourth. 70 goals difference. I didn't even concede 100. I scored 164. Yeah, no one's in the top goal scorers charts. 13 assists for uh, centre mid three. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, quite a few caps in the England squad. England have probably won everything, have they? Yeah, two Euros. Two World Cups. 10 nil against France in the final there, as you do. Who's, yeah, Golden Boot, 11, 10. Those are the Golden Boot winners. Okay, uh, we've got one last season. Right, this is the formation we're going with. Dropping it back. I've just thrown people in. Um, and every single player, as you can see, mark specific position. You go right back. 
I'm not going to show you every single one, but we'll just show you another couple. Mark the right back. Mark the right back. So the idea is, hopefully, that we lose the ball and everyone wants to mark their right back, so their right back will be up here. And we'll all sort of funnel across and then bang, bang, goal, goal, goal. We'll go down, almost certainly. It feels a bit cheap to do it this way because, like I say, we did it last time. And it was I felt like it was a good idea last time. I was running out of ideas, it's a bit like it was this time, to be honest. But because I discovered that, it felt a bit cheap in the end. So I, I didn't want to do it again this time, but here we are. I've got nothing. I don't like season eight, eight to nine. I didn't have anything either. I should have just done it then, but we did it now. Let's go to the end of season 10 and see where we finished. Oh my God, we've won the league. We've won the league. How have we won the league? Oh, for, f for God's sake. How's this happened? 34 conceded. Bloody defensively fantastic. 164 goals scored. Oh, well, what an absolute shambles this has been. A failure. We failed in our pursuit. To win the league. To get relegated, sorry. We've also won two Champions Leagues on the way. That's how bad we've done. The last two seasons, we've won the Champions League. With that shambolic formation that we've just had. Champions League winners. We managed to win... Only won three Premier Leagues in the 10. That's not too bad, to be fair. At two FA Cups. They've won a Conference League. Four Carabao Cups. So, I don't know. It's not... We're not done terrible in terms of trying to get relegated. But we, the lowest we finished, I think, was 13th, wasn't it? Or 14th. Not good enough, in my opinion. So, yeah, there you go. As I've said in the other ones, I've recorded all these in a bit of a batch. So, they're all going to come out. Like, none of them come out. So, if you've put any uh, suggestions or other challenges in the comments, do, uh, I will get to them. Please uh, please do keep bringing your suggestions to the comments. Other than that, though, yeah, end of experiment. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourselves. See you soon.